And you may ask yourself, how did I make this? And you may ask yourself, maybe I should start from scratch. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how to put uh, this session together for the color bars, the title card, two pop shenanigans. Okay, ready? Okay, I'm going to get rid of this master sequence. Uh, sequence. Uh, yeah. right, we'll just hang on to it for right now. Come down to your project window. Double uh, right click on it, new item, and we're going to pick bars and tone, and that's how we got this down here bars and tone at uh, 23.97. It's at the right dimensions 1920 by 1080 square pixels, 48k sample rate. Okay, unlike a movie file where you just double click on it it shows up in your source window if you double click on your bars and tones that you just created you'll get this little window that says tone settings steady tones steady tones uh, and it, this is where you can pick your frequency uh, 1k or a thousand Hertz is what is usually used as far as amplitude that's also known as volume or gain or volume level uh, it's going to be at minus 12 DB that's how loud that tone is going to be so that's all that's you can't just double click this and load it into the source window what you do is you take it and you drag it into your uh, timeline and you create a sequence and uh, we'll just call this sequence uh, bars and tones part two how's that that makes sense okay so as you can see it on this icon this is a sequence so this is our sequence bars and tones so uh, we zoom back in here uh, you select your bars and tones and you drag them out and you can see down here at the right side it says duration you want to open that puppy up to about a minute hello one minute mark all right close enough you will not be cited for over one frame anyway uh, so there's our color bars and tones so then the next thing you want to put in uh, in a, about 10 seconds. All right, so that's at, at or one minute mark. Ah, well, look at that. Yeah, we're still at, we're starting at zero. So how do we move these numbers? I'm telling you, I looked everywhere. And the only place they are to be, to change this number, unless you move it like this. No, can't do that. That just moves the playhead. You come here and you right click and you come down to start time so our start time we want the start time to start at uh, 58 minutes 30 seconds zero frames okay so now our session starts at 58.30 excellent so I come in a minute to about 59.30 ish area. That's the end of the tones. So at 59.40, I want to put a, a title card. So you, you can just park it there, or actually you can type in the number uh, 59.40. Actually, let's go right to right to the frame. Type it right in. Now that's sitting right there. I'm going to put a marker there. And uh, we call this marker title card. And we can even give it a special color if we want. Okay, so that's our where our title card is going to go. And I just happen to have the title card over here somewhere. Oh, program slate, it's called. If I double click it, it'll open up in the editor. So what you do is you just take it and you drag it into your session. 
bada bing bada boom and there it is and that'll have your title program you we talked about that in the other video so okay that's uh i want about 10 seconds of that so i'm going to just zoom in a little bit i'm going to open it up i'm going to look at my duration and make sure it's about 10 seconds that's good 10 seconds that'll put us right about the uh 5950 mark which is cool actually let me type in one hour zero 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 enter there's our one hour mark so i'm going to put a, a marker there and we'll go to say start film call it film or movie it's always a debate anyway i'm going to give it a color red because that's that's an important color there anyway so i'm going to zoom in a little bit and i'm going to back up to actually i'll type in the numbers it's 59 uh, 58 zero zero let's put a marker there and call this the two pop okay groovy and now the two pop how do you make a two pop well that's a good question uh, what you do you see the, here's the source window and as I told you before when you hit the bars and tone if you double click on it it doesn't load like a regular movie file it opens this up so we know what that says so but basically if you take this and you drag it up to your source window there it is voila so you just you can put your playhead anywhere put, pick an in point move it one frame to the right pick an out point drag it and drop it right where you're parked and there's our two pop isn't that wonderful there's, let's hear it it's a beautiful thing I'm going to cry anyway let's see let's put our uh, movie in at the one hour mark just go drag it in right now just wild Willy nilly, so to speak. Actually, we, we do have markers now, so let me go to the start of the film right there. I'll zoom in. Oh, look at that. Just, I got lucky. So, this is what we'll see two pop, and then our movie starts. And that's it. Oh, no. Now, ooh, yeah, one of my favorite parts the window burn known as the window burn which will reflect the time code that's in the window in your timeline the time code here it'll put it up here in the window and how how do we do that you might ask well you come back to your project window and you create a transparent video and how you do that is you right click in in this bin here new item and you pick transparent video and what that does, you just pull that onto a video, one of the higher video tracks on top, and uh, open it up to the length of your movie. Let's say your movie ends way out here. We'll put a little marker there that says end. Which is already in the black at the end of there. Okay, that's good. Oh, we, we, now that we have our transparent video up here, let's put an effect on it. And that's where you come here to the effects window and video effects and uh, video folder down here. You'll see time code and you drag this onto that track. Now you see it right there. Now actually, if you double click on this transparent video track, it'll come up into the source window. Uh, but we actually want to see the effects, so we go to the window, uh, effects controls. All right, here's where our time code parameters are. Now we want the format empty time code as opposed to frames. We want it to display the time code. Um, this should be the time code source should be on media and time display it's at 24 frames per second now this offset 
if, if you'll notice, uh, if I go to one of our markers, uh, our start of film, which is at the one hour mark, notice that the time code is off here in our window burn. That's where this offset comes in handy. So now what you do is you just come over this number here and you start adjusting it until we get to that one hour mark. So that offset reads, I'm doing this on my laptop so it's a little harder to do. And this does have to be exact. There you go. So now our window burn, let me position this a little higher. There we go. You can position it left or right using this, or up and down using this. And the size, you can increase the size, the opacity, all that stuff. You can play with that. But there's the offset, and that's how you do it. That's how you create your window burn, along with the color bars, tones, title card, which is very important. We talked about that in the last video. The two pop. The ever popular Tupop, which starts two seconds before a movie, and thank you for listening.